Craig Stewart. I'm one of our safety uh, coordinators and training coordinators here with American Eagle. We're here in New Iberia, Louisiana at uh, one of our flagship terminals, uh, Terminal 1 here in our training center. And uh, kind of if y'all are ready, kind of take a walk around. I'll show you what we're about and what we're about to do. Craig, before we go inside, will you just tell me a little bit about yourself, your, your background, and what you bring to the role here at American Eagle? Well, oddly enough, coming on with a transportation company, I'm actually a retired state trooper. I retired out of uh, Troop C out of Homa, Louisiana. So this has kind of been, it's been an easy and a different transition for me, coming from the enforcement side, now onto the regulation side. So it's, it's something that I'm still kind of learning along my way and trying to, I don't want to say uh, change, but as far as to be able to bring the influence that I would have as far as my understanding from being on patrol and stuff with the state, being able to come over here to be able to bring that information and that knowledge to our drivers as far as when they're coming through new drive orientation and additional training. Now we're inside as far as our training classroom itself. You can see as far as we have plenty of room as far as new drivers come on. Uh, with it, I'll usually average, well, at least before COVID, I was I was averaging anywhere from eight to 12 drivers as far as, on, as far as every Monday cycling through. We also had additional new drivers because we have an entire training section also in the Houston area okay. as well. So they'll come in, they'll spend two days with us, uh, new driver orientation. Uh, the first day is more of an orientation of our expectations, what we want as far as in, in our rules and regulations inside American Eagle. And then we have additional training blocks on top of that, which is going to be as far as inclusive with uh, a lot of our customers, as far as like Shell, for instance, uh, Chesapeake. We also do as far as I'm a Smith training, uh, Smith driving instructor. So we also as present as far as with the Smith, as far as driving system to them too, as part of our new driver orientation and also as part of our Shell curriculum. As far as with the oil field is, is at least I find it's kind of unique because we deal with so many different customers and the variations of their expectations, there's, it's not vast, but there's small changes from one to the other. So you may have regulations that's gonna to apply to one particular area that has to do with that customer's on-site regulation. So those, that's the information that we're also putting out to our new drivers coming on because they're now visiting those, as far as those sites as well, and they're gonna be held accountable to, as far as what, that they need to know what they need to do on those specific locations. So a lot of the additional training that we do, including as far as the new driver orientation, is to bring up those regulations and stuff with those certain on-site policies from all the customers that we have as far as that, that's part of our American Eagle family, I guess you could say. We have, I think it's nine safety coordinators. I'm Steve Medina, a safety coordinator at, at uh, Terminal 1. My job is to coordinate the trucks, make sure they all got their safety gear on, make sure they they in line and waiting to load and everything goes smooth. Well, everyone on the dock is responsible for safety. As you saw earlier, they, the guy on the tractor that was mowing, he, uh, he pointed out one guy didn't have his glasses on and so put them on. But we hire like one out of 10 drivers that apply for a job with us because uh, safety is an issue. You can only have so many speeding tickets. You can only have so many things on your record in order to uh, to work for us. Then you have a lot of training to go through. We had a we had a driver last year. It took three months for him to get up to to snuff in order to drive for us, and he was coming from another company. So so we're, we're pretty stringent on on who we hire. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, when we're bringing on new drivers, that's sort of a, a, a brain dump of, of training, and there's a lot going on to get them into the fleet. Yes. And then my understanding as well is you do some uh, refresher training in, in, in safe land and uh, you know other customer specific uh, training types. Can you talk right. a little bit about that? We uh, we provide as far as safe land, safe golf, and that's uh, and that's training from PEC, the Petroleum Education Council. So with that, they're able to come in, and the good thing with PEC, that's a one-time certification, that's a lifetime certification. So even the new drivers coming in here, as far as with it, at the very basic minimum, they're still gonna be walking away with a lifetime certification as far as from PEC. And that is an additional class coming on, because that is a full day in itself just with PEC. Okay. But we start rotating all the new drivers as far as coming through. After they get done with the orientation, they're out to the fleet, let them kind of reacclimate to, uh, to, to us being with a new company. And then usually within the first few months after that, they'll be brought into the PC classes as far as, uh, as far as for their PC training to receive that training.